So NWA, who are they to you? So we're here today at Brennan Theaters watching Straight Outta Compton. Now this movie is a biographical look at the group NWA and then the lives of each of the artists after NWA. It does an excellent job from telling the story from the beginning all the way through almost to the almost to modern day. It, it kind of stops before you actually hit some of the stuff that Dre did on the end of it, but it, it really covers a majority of the story. I was really impressed by this. I think not only did the actors look like the people they were portraying, but they really seem to be passionate about the part and give the part the justice it deserves. I felt like we were watching the actual group do this. I know that Ice Cube's son, I believe, plays Ice Cube, but all the rest of the characters, I believe, were just casted, and it was extremely impressive how well they were casted. When you actually see them together as a group, they feel like they were a group. It feels like it was, it was real. So there are parts in the movie where they show clips of the actual group, like on a TV or a quick clip of like a video, and then there were parts of the movie where it would go straight back from that clip to the actors. And it was hard to tell the difference between the actors and the real clips of the real group. And I was, I was impressed by that. That shows a good quality to what you're making when you can take that transition back and forth and it not be obvious. Another thing I noticed about the movie that I thought was very powerful was the emotional concepts in the movie. So obviously this is following a real life story and there's ups and downs with anybody's story, especially when it comes to music. The emotions in this movie were thick. It was something that you could feel in the air. You feel when something bad happens, you feel when something good happens, you feel when something funny happens. No matter what they're trying to convey, they did a good job of conveying it. I was very impressed with the emotional roller coaster that this movie actually is. So something I thought was very powerful in this movie is it, it really goes to show that it doesn't matter what kind of music, what genre of music it is, music is music when it comes to the, the lives of the artist, the ups and the downs. You watch pretty much any biographical film or read any biography when it comes to an artist, whether it's from the 60s, 70s, modern day, whatever it might be, and you kind of see a lot of similar themes and a lot of things that overlap. And I think that's very interesting, and this movie really shows that because there hasn't really been a lot biographically about rap. Mostly you see it about 60s and 70s, you see it about rock bands and pop bands, but you don't really see a lot being done biographically about rap artists. And I was very impressed to find that a lot of the same things in any genre are still there. Now obviously there's some differences. There are some aspects of what happened that are unique to the culture of the people involved, but I was very impressed to see that a lot of similarities to any artist of any type. So I'm gonna be very interested to see with our different guests today exactly where they came into this musical story. So obviously it starts with NWA, it moves on to the solo acts, and then it goes beyond. And I'm very interested to see where everybody dove into that story. For me, it was when Dre came out with his solo album. I was in junior high at that point, which I know makes me seem like, I know that's gonna be the oldest person in the group here. But I was in junior high at that point and I was huge into that music. Um, it's funny because that was really the only pocket in my life where I was really into rap, but I was extremely into it. So I'm going to give this movie a 9 out of 10. I really enjoyed this movie. I think they did an excellent job portraying the group and portraying the, the, the story as it went along and the struggle that this all was. I feel that they weren't really on anybody's side when the group started beefing towards the middle, which you, it always happens. You, you didn't feel like it was from one person's perspective. I think that was really important. So, solid 9 out of 10. So let's find out what our other rappers have to say. So, straight out of Compton, what'd you think? I thought this was actually a good movie. I don't really remember a lot of the whole genre itself of when it came out, because honestly, when they started the whole group up, I think I wasn't even born yet. I do remember my brother listening to a lot of the music. I was not really into that music for a long time, until probably, you know, at least high school, I want to say, is when I really started listening to it a lot. Seeing how it developed and how things actually were and how they actually came from, you know, nothing, you know, nobody thought anything of it, not even, you know, people that knew who they were and knew how they sang, you know, produced, all that. And they really made something out of themselves and it was amazing watching this. It was a roller coaster, ups and downs, it was hard to watch some of it, it was hard to not stop watching, you wanted more, at the same time it was, it was good. I mean, there's really nothing I can say bad about this movie. I enjoyed it. I loved how you said, you know, there was parts where you couldn't even tell it was them or not. The actor, that was really good. I, I didn't even notice that until like you get into it more and more. You're like, wait a minute, who am I looking at? It was really good. They did a great job with this movie. I enjoyed every bit of it. 
I thought it was incredibly amazing. It was super powerful. It really hit home the importance of NWA to the music industry, um, what it eventually led to, and also their involvement with the police and the FBI and what that really meant to the people and to society and how it influenced the Rodney King riots. I loved it. It was really good. It's a ride for sure, you know. It's, it takes you here, it takes you there through the story from beginning to end. Um, like you said, a lot of emotion, a lot of uh, a lot of history on on the group, a lot of um, conversations and things you didn't really know just from listening to the music. And I really like that about the movie. Um, also, a really really uh, strong connection to um, how much they influenced the people and how they were all about that. I really love how in the movie they really show that they were there to be the journalists of their neighborhoods, basically. It's hard to say that I, I'm, some, I'm one of those people that it was somewhat caught up in the stereotypical version of rap artists. So when I see this movie, I was uh, surprisingly moved emotionally by their story. I have a deeper understanding and respect for their way of what they view as art. And I respect all forms of art, really. It's just I never quite understood this one or respected it as much as I am until now. Seeing this movie helped me gain a deeper understanding and appreciation for it. I don't know, I've never heard of these artists before. I've heard of I've heard of Ice Cube, I've heard of Snoop Dogg, Easy E I believe I might have heard of. Again, I'm not a, I'm not a rap fan, I've never really gotten into rap, so this story of these people was pretty much new to me. I knew about the LA riots over Rodney King, I knew that. But as for this movie, its production value and quality is superb. It's surprising. I was expecting something different, but this movie really moved me emotionally. And, I, and again, I have a deeper appreciation for this art form now. I'm still not a fan of it. I personally don't care for it, but I understand where they're coming from now. And I, I get it now, and I respect it. So when did NWA come under your radar? Tonight. Tonight. And it made a good impression. Still not a fan, but respect. I was about six or seven. I was living in East LA. So uh, a lot of easy out there especially on um, 41st Street, <laughs> it's very big. So I would listen to it. I didn't know really what they were about. Um, I knew nothing about NWA. I just listened to it because all the elder people were listening to it. They honestly hit my radar probably when I was really young. The Chronic came out literally the year before I was born. Fortunately, my sister's nine years older than me, so she was listening to um, Tupac, to Dr. Dre, Easy E, you know, NWA as a whole uh, when I was growing up. So hearing all of that kind of music in the household when I was very young all the time, but it didn't actually come onto my personal radar until about a year ago. Um, when I was very young, um, it was when my brother was listening to it a lot. Um, I can't actually say exactly who or which one of them, if it was, they listened to the most, but, you know, I, it was mostly my brother when I heard it, you know. Nowadays, I know it all because, like, once I hit high school, I started listening to it, but, you know, that was probably it. High school is when it really hit me. So on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you give this one? I'm going to give this movie a 9 because I really enjoyed it. I didn't have a problem with it in any way. Not a perfect movie by any means, but I'm not going to say a movie is perfect or anything, usually, so it's good. Enjoyed it. Didn't have any bads about it. Good movie. Definitely a nine and a half because I also don't really truly believe anything's perfect, perfect. Although the movie seemed kind of long, I would really love to see a little bit more um, expansion on a lot of the uh, scenarios and um, things that went on. Also gave it a really high rating because of the social message that it sends out. It really relates to a lot of the things that are going on now and a lot of things that went back in the day. I would totally give it a 10. I personally thought it was incredibly just powerful. The emotions within the movie just really drove home. I love it. I definitely am excited to actually buy I Don't Buy Many Movies. I definitely plan on buying this one as well as the soundtrack itself. I'm gonna give it a 9. The reason I don't go any higher is because as everyone is just saying, it's not a perfect movie, but that's because it's, you know, as their rap songs imitate their life, this movie imitates their life as well and life is not perfect to say it's a perfect movie means to say they have a perfect life and no movie's life is perfect no matter how rich or how popular how many friends you have or whatever so and I, that's this movie is brutally honest just like their songs are so we would like to know which nwa artist influenced you the most go ahead and leave it down in the comment section below and don't forget to like favorite subscribe to the channel for more videos and as always we're letting you know before you go at brendan peter we're here today at Brennan Theaters watching Straight Outta Compton. Sorry. 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 <laughs> I gotta hold the Didn't line. I just say I didn't want to start that to start over again?
It's it's all. I just want to point it at you so I can hear. It. Okay. Okay. Anything? Are we sure? I am 100% positive. We're not gonna go take three on this. I promise. Okay. At the group NWA and all the members and what they did after the after they were done with that group at the beginning. I'm just gonna take a take three on my own here. <laughs> It's a really good thing to say when it comes to an autobiography or a biographical movie. I'll say that part again. Yeah, I'm going to say that part again <laughs> so you can cut that for me. And who are the actual, the actual people? My lord. <laughs> it's midnight, dude. We're tired. <laughs> so there were multiple times in the movie where they actually showed the group. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll edit it. Just... <laughs> I thought you were going to start laughing again. <laughs> I was going to start laughing. It's why I exhaled. So there were... My lord! <laughs> keep praying, maybe he'll answer. <laughs> no, probably not. He's just gonna keep laughing. <laughs> and don't forget, really? <laughs> I've done that. I've done that countless times. You're staring at my beard. Was there a reason? Whenever you look back at me, you were no, looking no, straight I, I, down. No, no, I look all over the place when I'm talking. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm deep. Am I, am I showing something? No, I'm deep. I'm deep in thought, thinking things. <laughs> what I'm. I stare all over the place. I, I stared at that poster at one point. So. So when did and then when did oh. Whew, we're almost done. Did you really say it was before you were born and I yeah. said I was in junior high? Uh-huh. Okay. I was born in 93. <laughs> I was in high school in 93. Fantastic. Okay. Let's, uh, let's keep going. I'll put that in the bag, bro. I was like thinking myself. I gotta center myself after that for a moment. Wow. Okay.